Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to load up that Patch and Posy database from Udacity. As of now, you should already have signed up for the course on Udacity. You should have watched the video which guided you to download PG Admin and PostgreSQL. So we're going to load up that database so that you can have fun with it and practice your SQL queries on your own. So I just clicked on the link in the Udacity course. Um, you can find it. It's the second or third lesson. It's this one right here. Just click on that link and you'll see this code. Don't panic. Don't worry. This is just the code that's going to help you create that table. So copy the code and then go into PG Admin. Click on databases and click on create database. We're going to call it Parch and Posy. You can write a comment if you want to, but that's not necessary. You can go into the SQL portion to see the code. You know, it's just creating a database with the owner name, which you can, which you can, um, which you can change, but I mean, don't, don't change it. Just leave it as a default. Encoding connection limit. Okay. You can mess with the settings, but honestly, don't, don't touch them for now. Just go in and create the database save so now you really have a shell you don't really have anything in your database if you go into your schema your tables there is nothing there but that's okay because we are going to bring in all that information because we have that nice juicy code so click on the query tool this opens where you can write your queries and just paste that massive code you're inserting values. So these are rows of information you're putting in here. See, you have like, it's a very, very long query. So it's literally creating your tables and it's also entering in your data. All you have to do now is click on run. And that's going to create your database with all your tables, all your data and everything. So now if we go to, oh, actually we need to refresh. And let's close this one don't save okay now if you go to your tables you have five tables which is fantastic so now we can go back into the query tool and we can select it's good um, <laughs> it's good to capitalize your query statements let's pretend that I always do that from and it's also good to have your um, commands on a separate line. So I want to, you know, teach you guys good habits. And it's good to end your statements with a semicolon. So we're selecting all columns from the table called orders. So let's run that. And there you have all your data from orders. So you can see this is connected. This works as you learn your your SQL commands it's nice to go in here and practice you do have access to um, something on Udacity to practice queries um, which you could use of course but I think it's nice to have your own environment which you can do whatever you want and you know learn new things for instance here you could just decide to limit this will help you pull the first 10 orders only so Udacity gives you specific queries to run or specific challenges so you can like figure out the queries to run. But you can also come here and just have this as a sandbox and do whatever you want. All right, that's that's showing you how to load up that database so you have your own database to practice now. That's pretty much the end of this video. That's all I have for you. Have fun with the rest of the guide and doing all those materials. Bye.